So, Thomas, please call me Tom. Tom, back in 1986, you were convicted of the murder of Frederick Brindle. You were 18 at the time. How did it happen? Fuck me, you don't know I'm back, do ya? Straight in with the murder questions. Okay. Well, I killed him. <coughs> Fucking proper out of the cunt, you know? But why? What caused such a rage? He was a very disrespectful human being, sir. In what sense? Why was he disrespectful? So Frederick and my dear Mark were married. So he was your father? No. No, 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 just listen, sir. He was my dear Mark's husband. It meant nothing to me. Not by blood, not by marriage. My real father passed away when I was born, sir. I'm sorry to hear that. So how was Frederick? Fucking wait and I'll tell ya! Sorry. I, uh, I don't like being interrupted. Apologies. You see, I grew up around my dear Ma and Frederick arguing a lot. I mean, I was young when it started, but I still remember the hurled abuse. Horrible words. Vile, in fact. Until it started getting worse. Worse? How did things get worse, Tom? See, when I started coming home from school, I noted bruises on my dear Ma. What's that bruise, Ma? I'd ask. And she'd always reply with, Nothing, sweetie. Mummy's skin goes a bit dark when she's feeling a bit sick. I know. What a load of bollocks, eh? But like I said, I was young. That must have been hard for you. Hard indeed, sir. But then I grew up. Things started getting a lot easier to understand. You see, that night back in 1986, I was on a night out with my pals and I just got home. I walked through the door and my dear Mars over there in the corner, crying, covered in blood. Frederick was there too, blood on his knuckles and a bottle of whiskey next to him. What happened, Tom? I saw Red, sir. Completely went mad. I charged at him, threw him to the ground. I put my hands around his throat and just... just didn't let go. <laughs> Mum was screaming. She couldn't do nothing, you see. She was too hurt herself to stop me. And then Frederick stopped. Stopped what? Moving? <laughs> Breathing. Mum called the police. She was so madly in love with that sick bastard that she turned against me. Her only son. And I got banged up. But why are you in here? You see, I became obsessed in prison of hurting people. You know, it played in my mind that much what Frederick did to my mum. But I just couldn't stop hurting people, you know? You don't seem that mad. Mad? No. Mad, I'm not, sir. I'm a fucking lunatic. <laughs>